this is our gator made equipment trailer and we've not got no work today so we're going to do a little bit of maintenance got a few things wrong with it one is i killed this tail light another one is this is an eight lug trailer and they put a spare tire holder on here that's for a six lug there's no way I can try to put a tire on here and spare and it doesn't line up at all. I'm going to have to cut one of these bolts off and move it or make an adapter plate. Another thing that really bugs me is this license plate holder. It hangs down farther than anything on the trailer and every time I back the trailer up I get into the mud or something that destroys this license plate. So I'm going to try to come up with some type of other amount for this. I know it needs a light over top of it. It's not required here, but you don't even have to have a license plate here in Kentucky. But once you register it, you've got to keep it tagged and keep a light on it. So I'm going to try to do something about that. The first thing I want to do is tackle this. Because I got this into a guardrail the first year that I had the trailer. And I've only had it a couple years. So I'm going to see what I got over here to put back on this is the replacement it's kind of the same size it's close it's got a different kind of uh, this has a flat side marker this one had a cone and of course it got torn off this had a lot of rust in it for something that it's only been built recently but I've got to get this one taken apart I guess I'll try to take the light out of this hole it still works, believe it or not. But I've got to get this. I don't know why they put a quarter inch weld, I guess, to make it sturdy so it'll do stuff like that instead of being in the trailer. But I've got to get both of these taken apart. Kind of thin and cheesy. Take two hands. I got those out of there. It just leaves a shell. This one seems to have heavier wires than the, than the other one. I guess they're about the same. Now we got to get the light out of the other one without cutting myself all to pieces. Look out, kitty. You get your head gouged. And that's in there. Some kind of bolt in there. Oh, that's a waterproof wire nut. That's what it is. I don't know what it's attached to. I can't believe that didn't break. Wow, they use Wago liver nuts. How about that?
Where did that wire come from? Unless it's a ground. Possibly what it is. Before using any power tools, be sure to read, follow, and understand the manufacturer's instructions. And always remember when using a power tool to wear these your safety glasses. Let's see if we can cut this loose. I don't have a cutting disc. I've got a, it's a flap disc. I probably need to change disc. Let's see what this will do. All right. We got us a Dewalky disc here, a little thin one. Still on there pretty good. That's easy enough. Them little sparkles has burnt me up. Come on. Ooh, it's hot. All right. Better worry out. And that thing is junk. Now we've got a harbor plate. Freight, harbor freight, hobo freight, flappy disc. Try to get this way. cut into the main steel a little bit. I didn't get very much down there. Well, let's blow that out with a plasma cutter or something. Huh. It's crazy. Now I gotta fit my other piece up here and tack it on. I guess I need to get my welder set up. Well, that's not going to work. 
the hole's too low. Huh. There's no way that's going to line up with that. But I have somewhere I've got a sheet metal step drill that should be able to drill me a hole here. jerky sideways. I don't know if that'll fit through there. We'll try it. I'll get them sharp edges out of there. I know that. Uh, so I'm going to go. I might have to disconnect them one at a time because they're all different colors might not be too bad red and green and black and brown that's all there is to it Seems like green would be a ground color, but then I gotta figure out how to bolt this back into here. Is that gonna work there? Yeah, that's gonna work perfectly. Gotta grind some paint off of here. It should work. go liver nuts who would have thunk it I gotta find something to gently hold this on here with now I got these two pieces this one had a bolt welded inside of it so they could put that wire nut on it and uh, hook the ground to it so I'm gonna do something similar I'm gonna put a bolt in there clean the metal off I stuck a magnet on the bottom of it the main that's going to keep my bolt in place to hopefully till I can get in there and put an arc on it and get it get it tagged on. So now I gotta get to drag the welder out here. I got the little stud welded in there. I couldn't film it. I couldn't get the shade to work on my helmet, so I'd take it inside. I don't know what I'm gonna do over here on this other side.
It's ugly. Gee, that's just snot and boogers. Well, I'm no welder, but I am a grinder. It's on there. It ain't going nowhere. Let it cool. Put a lick or two of paint on it. See if I can get these lights in here. All right. There's a stud back in there that I welded in earlier. I'm going to try to get this big wire nut on. I how I'm going to get it in there. I don't know how they did it. It's the stud, but don't stay up in the wire net. that did it now I've got to get this out here to this outside marker light get in there okay Okay, that's in there. Don't fit very good. Now, find my way old lever nuts. I did get all this welded on and painted. I painted it with Bobcat Black. remember without going back and watching the video red and green were together I like these Wago lever nuts you just push them in there and lock them Never seen them used on trailers before, but why not? All these blacks and browns goes together. I don't have my truck hooked up, so I can't really test it. But I'll test it later on. And of course the battery died about the time I started hooking these wires up. This is not a how-to. This I just put these back the way they were, so I don't know what goes to what. Now I've got to get this back in here. All this crud. I'm using the original plugs because the tail light plug and the marker light plug were wired together and they weren't on the new ones. So I'm going to use the original stuff. Makes it a little easier. A little bit less, one less wire after him. You have to put soap on this. Just trying to push it in there. The neighbors, I don't know what he's doing, trying to tune his truck or something, but it sounds awful. You can hear it in the background. These 
got engine issues, I suppose. Something. Well, fell out. Almost. Get down there. Don't go in there very easy. I guess it's far as it's gonna go. Well, it's going in a little further. There it went. Maybe. Yeah, I believe that's right. It is a little crooked. It came loose in the bottom slightly, and it's tilted back just a little, but. I think this metal was bent to start with where I drug the other one off. So I used that Bobcat Black paint, which matches this trailer pretty good, but Bobcat Black's actually gray. So we got it in there. It doesn't have the same marker light on this side. This one has a little nipple on it. But they look the same. Their weld's just slightly prettier. But I welded it in the same places. Mine's kind of raggedy and where I've been grinding on it. Should just left it alone. It was fine. But, oh well. It's as factory as I can get it. Our next project is getting a spare tire hanging right. Cause it's like I said, it's set up for a must be set for a six load. Pattern doesn't match this one. Now you can see what I'm talking about. Got a spare on here, and one nut goes there, one nut completely misses. What I considered doing was making a plate for down here and just putting a regular washer up here instead of cutting this bolt off. There's a bunch of dudes on bicycles. And actually, they're taking the whole road. <laughs> Go bicycle. So I found this little washer, which would be fine. And I put the luggy nut on there backwards because I don't want to mess these these cones up because you never know when you might need a lug nut. I run this one in and sunk it to where it's good and solid. So this one should stay solid even if this one wallers itself off. I should have probably put a lock nut on there, but... I think it'll be fine. These goes on there pretty stiff. <coughs> but instead of cutting that off and welding a new one down here somewhere, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Cause I've been running around with a spare laying in the back of the truck and it just takes up all the space. I believe that's all I'm gonna do for today on this trailer. The trailer needs a good cleaning. I'm, I'm leaking oil out of the skid steer. Uh, I do have the, the slider tars on here like big tractor and trailers have and this is one of the ones off my old off the, the original ones off the trailer these only go up to 80 psi and these goes up to 100 and these are 14 ply and these are 10 i believe so it'll work as a spare but it's not a permanent solution they're the same diameter everything about them is the same size it's just this has more tread on it these have slider tread on them should work out just fine I'm going to pick all this mess up that I've got scattered all over the driveway to get ready to rain. i got this on here. Looks pretty good. <coughs> Should be fine. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, if you guys like this kind of content or like to see us do something different, just give us a holler. I do appreciate it. If you're following our channel and you're not subscribed, Please subscribe. It helps us out. We're trying to get a thousand subscribers. We've never been monetized as a channel, but we're trying to be. So anybody that watches our videos, uh, it doesn't cost you a thing. Just go ahead and subscribe, and that helps us out. If you've got suggestions for videos you'd like to see, like for, for you for us to do, I know we do all kinds of stuff. We do digging in the dirt. We do 
uh, working on old cars. We try to keep uh, some of our grandkids' cars going, working on things like our trailer. Where for our, that's for our daily job. But I'd love to be monetized. I'd love to get that thousand subscribers. If you guys wouldn't care a bit, uh, subscribe and like and share. Let all your friends know that there's somebody out there that's doing just random stuff. And if there's stuff that you'd like to see us do, let us know. Put it in the comments. We'll try to do whatever you'd like or something you'd like to see. Working on old trucks, working on equipment. We do all kinds of equipment videos. And I do swimming pools for a living. I make, I dig out pool pads for above ground pools. And you know it's pretty good work, but it's hard work. But uh, give us a like and share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Stay clean, everybody.